Okay, we're still in the uh, um, uh, ancillary things for Black Panther, the Medea Marvel Studios uh, film that's recently come out. And again, I don't want to, I'm not doing any, what they call spoilers. I'm talking about the film exactly. I'm talking about things around the film, ancillary things around the film. Of course, uh, there's a thing called cachet, you know, but both the, the, the cast and crew, you know, the, 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 the black producer that's in the Marvel Studios uh, that pushed through a lot of this stuff. Um, the director, of course, the, the casting, and other, uh, you know, all the designers or whatever have you, they're going to have tremendous um, cachet. They're going to be known around the industry and blah, 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 like that. Okay, now, some of the fallout, some of the fallout, some of the things is, like, for instance, I'll give you an easy one. Uh, it's one of the myths that this film will, will break, along with Get Out, already did it, is that uh, a black-headed uh, cast, whatever it is, they won't sell overseas. Well, the South Korean thing proved that wrong. But more important, something very interesting, I, I, ran across something very interesting. Um, I think it was, uh, was it Chadwick Boseman? I think Chadwick Boseman got an award from China. Now, Chinese are notorious for not, you know, dealing with the black thing, but recently there was, there was a Chinese movie that had the biggest, one of the second or biggest uh, Chinese movie action film that featured a Chinese guy, right? But uh, an African, a young African boy, you know, it was a huge success. Anyway, so uh, so that's the that, that's side. But it seems like they gave, I, I, it wasn't Ryan Coogler, it, it was uh, Chadwick Boseman, an award, a Chinese award for something, best something actor, whatever, but he hadn't, he hadn't had a film in China, none of his films was going going to China, anything like that. So you wonder, well, why did they do that? And I think, politically, uh, when they sell, when, when this movie goes, whatever happens, goes to China, it hasn't been to China, I haven't been worried um, about China, uh, they're going to say, oh, the award-winning, blah, 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 they, they would already be paving the way for this, is what I'm trying to say. That's sort of like the political thing that happens with this. And of course, um, let's leave Ch Ch Chagra out for a second, but Ryan Coogler, more importantly, uh, He's, the, he's been very principled what he does. And even with the, I'm not going to talk about the writing right now. Again, uh, the, his, his, his co-writer, what they've done, they put a lot of uh, black themes, you know, uh, let's call it uh, diasporic themes in, 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 in the film, you know. Um, there's always this uh, thing, uh, I first came across it uh, reading, um, reading uh, The Long Dream, by Richard Wright, but what are the characters, uh, what are the character fish, somebody says a fish, um, uh, you know, you you say you're you you're not African, you know, not for that. You're not American, you know, because they're black in the South. This place place in the fifties, you know. And so what are you? You you you're African, maybe you're split. What are you? What are you? That that, that kind of thing uh, um, happens. Those are the kind of discussions that Black America has, or uh, when I say descendant of chattel slavery, sl slavery folks have uh, that that will be addressed. That that's, that that these things can be addressed. But getting back to Ryan Coogler. I, I read someplace, or I've heard someplace, that the next film he's doing has to do with that whole uh, thing about the Atlanta, in Atlanta about the school, uh, the, the school system, how they were, f the, the, a lot of black teachers and this uh, principal, were got, or principal got fired because of some cheating on some exam or something like that to help the kids out, trying to help the kids out. But more importantly than that, it's kind of interesting. Also on his radar, if you want to put it that way, I suppose he's supposed to be doing a, a film on, on Mansa Musa. Now he's uh, he's like the richest man of all of history, right? And he he came from he's from the king of Mali, the Malian Empire, the Malian Empire at the time. Like Mali's around here, well around here someplace. I'm sorry, Mali is around here someplace. But the Malian Empire was really this whole area, and they had. Um, Gold, you know, he's off for gold, and he took a trip from from you know from uh, Mali Empire up through Europe, and all the way there he's throwing out gold. Whatever he wrecked somebody's economy up there in Europe, like the, with the somebody's economy got wrecked because he has so much so much gold. Uh, so so that's a again that's a cachet that, that that he can do that film. He'll be able to do that film, you know. If I could take a little little break, who knows? You know, um, maybe the the the, the, um, the set designer. Uh, uh, the production designer is also a, a, a black woman, and uh, her designs I, I, it remind me a little bit about uh, uh, Blade Runner and also um, The Fifth Element, right? But also looking at the film again, not getting, very, getting anything away, but for Wakanda, it also looked to me like a lot of things I've seen in, in India, Nigeria, right? And then some of the some of the stuff I noticed is like an. Let's call it the, um, the the township shacks. I mean, I live in a in a, in a township right here. But the township shacks are sort of weirdly 
I like that it brought me back to that too. So, so she'll, you know, her production design is going to be noted for awards, whatever have you. And of course, you have uh, Ruth Carter, and she's just going to be gold. I mean, yeah, if she has a warehouse now full of stuff, she's going to have like five warehouses full of stuff because everybody's going to want to. To stunt people, even to stunt people, you have to, there's all kinds of things that have to work, have to be worked in. This is important. I want to say one. There's these, uh, there's this thing in, in, in film them where we, a lot of times you'll see a, a, a movie that go direct to DVD, right? It's just a messed up movie. All they had is a lot of car chases or stunts or, or blowing up things, whatever it is. Well, that's because they're they're grooming their stunt people by doing a, 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 a sex like called a grade B movie. But those all those stunt people, that crew keeps on moving. They get better and better and better. So you can have a whole. I like. Um, I'm gonna get back to that. Episode. Like say say Dora Milaje. That 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 group of people. It's like the the Tower Power horn horn section in in, in, in the 60s, 70s, right? You can hire those those women, right, to be in other films. Or you can have a spin-off with just the Dora Milaje. You see all those kind of things playing playing to them. But let's get to Ruth, Ruth Carter. So she, she's like, you know, she can make a movie just up around costuming, right? She, she, you know, all these things can, can be done. One of the things I mentioned Get Out, one of the things about Get Out, the way this guy Blum has his company, you know, you, just, you, you can have stunts, you can have, you know, uh, actors, you can, he's like three, he has three sections of how to make the movie, you can have this much money for this thing, but then you'll lose it on this end. So that, those, that kind of divvying up of, 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 of things because you're, 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 um, how do you say you're you're building up one 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 section of of of, of film them you know whether whether it's cinematography or whatever it is um, you know that's that's also one of the cards. So what what I'm trying to say, and I'm not saying it very well. Sorry about that. Is that this movie is beyond just the psyche of black folks, whatever have you? This makes it's got to make a billion dollars worldwide it's, somehow. It's, it's, it's going to be, and if it runs in the theaters a very long time. It goes through. It'll keep on playing through and through and through. Of course, you have all. Uh, I'm, when I say ancillary in, in industries too, I'm not. I'm not talking about the bootleggers. But don't bootleg this film. Just, well, it's going to be done anyway. But you know, you're going to have you know t-shirts, all of all, the, and it's just money on top of money. And then, but you, you, if you find a little niche in there, then you should you should do. It. Plus, I'm not, I'm not even going to discuss right now all of the uh, political commentaries that's going to come about. I mean, uh, when I get to talk about Eric Kilmar, I'll tell you what, it's, that's the most, one of the most important characters ever, right? Like, anyway, so so I'm going to leave it right there, uh, me being T from Patterson's taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect about Wakanda.